and MD, MD5 and uh, SHA1 have been shown to have theoretical weaknesses. Well, SHA2 is, 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 has not been attacked. NIST decided that they would have a competition for a new type of hash algorithm and the new standard uh, is defined as SHA3. So in this little uh, presentation we'll give you an overview of uh, SHA3. And so, so basically we have three main types of encryption. Uh, and the one we're focusing on is the one way hash where we go uh, through from our plain text uh, into our cipher text and we should be able to reverse it within a reasonable time frame. So the standard methods that, that we use uh, are MD5, SHA1 and SHA2. So we'll just have a look at them. Uh, so we normally just try, we'll try this example here. So this is 128 bit, this is 160 bits, 256, 384, 512. So the more bits that we have, the less chance that we can have of a collision. It's almost impossible to have a collision uh, with inside 512 bits. Uh, so for SHA-3, The method that was chosen uh, was known as uh, KKAC and it was designed by these individuals and the competition was set up by NIST who announced in uh, October 2012 that this method was going to be the new standard for SHA-3 and it should be noted that it's not actually a replacement for it. Okay, so for this uh, we can have 224 bit, 256, 384 or 512 bit signatures. Okay, so this gives us this. So the um, we need to watch that uh, because this is such a new algorithm we need to make sure that we actually are getting the right values. So we use some test vectors. So one test vector that test vector is often used. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog because it uses all the characters in the English alphabet. So let's uh, take this example. So for our 256 bit it's 4D. 4D it starts with. So let's go back here. So we're looking for a 4D in the 256 and there it's there. Okay, so the rest of it should be okay. We'll put in a dot, changes to 5789. So we'll just check here 5789. So it looks like that we have the right test vectors of a few other ones. Uh, no characters at all. Should hopefully give us. So if we have a look, there's the 256 one is C5D2. So C5D2. Okay, so we've proven that we have the correct uh, method. Uh, the code that's actually used is uh, created by by Joe Dolzen, and you can add it to your project from this uh, and you get and it's fairly simple from there. We just create our unmanaged uh, objects for each of the different bit sizes. Then we can encode them and get the results. So SHA-3 looks an interesting uh, method and it hasn't been cracked yet. So for any new code then it's certainly a consideration.